Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing absolutely fine. So recently CEO has said that they will launch six new models by the first half of 2023. Pictures of new models have started coming out. Here's what Neo's ES6 looks like. It's worth nothing that the new ES6 battery supplier include CALB in addition to CATL. If the model number will increase, then delivery numbers will also increase. In the previous month, NEO had delivered around 15,800 vehicles, more than Tesla delivered. Also, according to regulatory filling, NEO EC7 on the list of models to be allowed to sell in China within few months. Also, according to Spy Shorts, NEO may be working on a new EC6. The new EC6 could be the equivalent of trim down and thus more affordable version of EC7, but the model could be still a long way off from an official launch, according to a well-known auto blogger. I think this is for the later launch, but those two previous models will be launched within three months. Also, after BYD, NIO is the second largest electric vehicle manufacturer in China and its two vehicles are in the top 10 list. NIO ED5 ranked 7 on the list of best-selling premium sedan in the China in December and ED7 ranked number 10. Here you can see the performance of these two vehicles. It is expected that the delivery of NIO ED5 will increase this month after China lift off COVID restrictions. Apart from that, NIO has also taken important steps to improve their production this month. NIO has qualified additional casting suppliers, eliminating capacity constraints for ET7. The company has added an EDS assembly line to support ET5 production and silicon carbide supply issue related to Onsemi should be resolved this month. This is the main reason why I believe that very soon we will see some improved delivery numbers and those new launches will take the numbers even further. So hold the stock tight. See you in next update.